Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yes, and I'm back to share with you my most recent beauty empties. Now, these are the products I've used up in the last two months. So, the first item I have here is from Boots Number no. 7. It is the Beautiful Skin Cleansing Water. This is for normal to oily skin, and it says one simple step to perfectly clean, refreshed skin, refreshed, shine free skin. It's hyperallergenic. I liked it for what it was. It's kind of like one of those cleansing waters. I love that it has a pump because you can just pump the product right onto a cotton pad and swipe it all over your face and it takes everything off. Um, it's not... I don't think it's meant to remove like waterproof makeup. I pretty much will use this and then go in with my like Pond's cold cream on my eyes until all my eye makeup is removed. I don't wear super heavy like eye makeup day to day. I do like to wear eye makeup but usually I wear like a uh, an eyeliner and a mascara that's waterproof so that's just a little bit more of a pain in the butt to, to take off so but for the rest of my face this was an amazing product to use especially in the winter I want to try to lessen the time I use like hot water on my face because I love to wash my face and my body with hot water and in the winter between the weather and the heat indoors and hot steaming showers it can really wreak havoc on your skin and your hair and on your skin and your hair so I like to use products like this so that I sort of reduce the amount of time that I have to use that scalding hot water on my face and dry my skin out even more. So this was a great product. I would definitely give it a try. Up next is a product I didn't fully use, but I'm not crazy about it, so I'm just chucking it. This is from Freeman. It is their facial clay mask in mint and lemon. For me and my skin, I just didn't feel like it did what I expected it to do, but I don't think it's a horrible mask. I just think that for me it wasn't the way to go. But these are pretty affordable from the drugstore, so if you're sort of trying to figure out what sort of mask work well on your skin, you might want to give this one a try and see if it works for you. The next product is from Earth Therapeutics and is a tea tree oil foot spray. It is certified organic. It is It refreshes and deodorizes. I like this. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I get embarrassed talking about my feet and the way that they can sometimes smell, especially in the winter when I have a lot of socks on. And in the summer, if we're wearing like flats without any socks in them, we know our feet can get a little funky. So I'm not going to get into too much detail. Those of you who need something like this, try this out. It's only a couple of bucks. I get mine at Ulta. And it feels really good and sort of cooling and refreshing on your feet. And it makes them smell good. So you can't beat it. I like this. Next is my Eucerin Dry Skin Therapy Plus Intensive Repair Hand Cream. And I pretty much use this all winter on my hands. In the winter, my hands get dry like the rest of my body does. And I feel like I need extra hydration because I'm constantly washing my hands or using like hand sanitizer and things that can sort of dry out your hands. So this was amazing. I love it. I think the use from products are pretty good products. So I tend to go back to them. I will probably repurchase again next winter when I need some super hydration on my hands. Next is this, um, it's from Freeman. It's their Barefoot Repair Deodorizing Foot Spray. I wasn't crazy about this. Um, I actually once used it to spray the sole of my shoes and it almost it pretty much stained it white. So it does come out white. If you spray it on your feet, you don't really notice this, that the white cast that it leaves behind. But if you spray it on shoes, like black shoes or shoes that have like dark insoles in them, you will notice. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't go back to this. I just, it's not the kind of product that I like. It's almost like, um, it's almost like using like a dry shampoo or like a liquid powdery kind of product. Um, I much prefer the tea tree oil foot spray that I use over this. This was a sample of the Garnier 5 Second Blur. I like this, especially for those areas where I have bigger pores on my nose, the sides of my nose, and underneath my eyes before I apply any concealer. It really helped to sort of prevent any creasing of my concealer underneath my eyes. Um, so I love it for that. I would consider purchasing just to have that for especially for underneath my eye. I don't think it does anything to control oil which is what I really need. I'm combination oily so I definitely need something that's gonna help control the oil but I felt that um, in that case I would use like my milk of magnesia in my t-zone and then with this to sort of make the white cast sort of go away and it worked fairly well. Again I love it for underneath my eyes though. Next is this sheet mask. I believe I purchased this at TJ Maxx. They always have a ton of sheet masks and I'm always drawn to them and I will purchase them. This is from Bio Miracle and it's their Coenzyme Q10 Collagen Essence 20 Minute Miracle Mask. It's supposed to be moisturizing, firming, and rejuvenating. I believe the pack brought, I don't know if it was three or five. Just these type of sheet masks. I love a sheet mask. Love sheet masks. Um, I always feel like it's it takes a regular night at home watching TV or vegging on the couch into a luxurious spa experience. I will do that and watch the news or watch my or watch my scandalous TV or whatever. I love a sheet mask. Love, love, love. 
Next is my Neutrogena Body Oil. This is the Light Sesame Formula. It is a sheer moisturizing experience from Neutrogena. I love this stuff. It smells so good. I would consider going back to it. I'm currently using the Ole Herrickson, I think it's a lavender scented body um, oil. It's really good too. I love that one. So I'm not sure which one I would get. This one's a lot more affordable. You can get this pretty much at any drugstore. I would definitely recommend it. It's really light. Doesn't leave you le doesn't leave you feeling super greasy. Um, apply just enough to really moisturize my skin without leaving it extra greasy to the point where I can't get dressed right away. Like I like to put something on and get dressed right away if I'm getting dressed. I love this scent. It's just a nice nutty sort of earthy kind of scent. It's a really good one. I have another sample. This is L'Oreal Youth Cold Pore Fan pore banisher again another product that we use on my pores underneath my eyes i prefer the garnier one to this one for whatever reason <clears throat> i just thought it was better this is the skin perfection gel from perfect i guess um i used it as a primer it says you can use it over your moisturizer it has a little bit of color but the color on this reminded me sort of like the professional color or any of those primers that you might use um, that's what it reminded me of. It looks like it comes in different shades. I don't think it's meant to be anything like full coverage. A little bit goes a long way with this. I used it twice. It was cool to try, but I don't think I would necessarily purchase this. I just wasn't crazy about it. I purchased this um, facial mask from the body shop, and it is a vitamin E sink in moisture mask. So, of course, I used it while we were in the middle of winter because my skin started to get really, really dry. Um, and even for me, who's combination oily skin, who gets a little bit dry in the winter, this was a bit too hydrating. I used it over the course of two nights, like in two applications. So I didn't use one whole one in one application. And I still felt like I broke out in certain areas where I tend to break out if I use like really oily products. Um, just because my skin is oily. So if you have really dry skin, this is probably amazing for you. If you have combination skin, I would use it probably only in those areas where you tend to be drier and avoid the areas where you're oily. I have another little thing I purchased from the body shop. This is the vitamin C microdermabrasion um, treatment and it's supposed to instantly reveal a brighter more radiant complexion so this is really great especially from the middle of winter when your skin starts to get a little dull and you need to sort of give it a little pick-me-up it has vitamin C and it's a microdermabrasion so it's gonna help sloth away all that dead, dead, dead skin that's just making you look really dull and like ugh. I would consider purchasing in the future I have scrubs that I like and I currently have some that I'm trying to use up but I think I would definitely keep an eye out for this in the future I have a small bottle of the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Perfect Curl Cream. I use this after I get out of the shower when I want to leave my hair curly, kind of like today. I'm not using this in my hair today, but I feel that this is probably one of the better curling creams for my kind of hair. Um, if you have hair similar to mine, um, maybe you straighten it out a little too much and sometimes it, it's sort of hard for the curl to come back into your hair. Using a product like this will really help you out. Um, I use the smallest little amount. I like when my hair looks curly almost frizzy but not frizzy. I like to put a little bit of product and sort of let my hair naturally air dry and make, let it stay soft. I find when you don't use a lot of product you kind of get that effect so I don't use a lot of this or any other curling cream for that matter or any other product in my hair. Um, I don't want it to look too weighed down or anything like that. So I like this a lot. I would probably go back and purchase this after I finish using the other ones that I have. Next is my shaving cream and this is the Skin to Mid Skin Therapy Lotionized with Vitamin E. These are fine. I purchase these usually when I find them on sale. I don't think they're my favorite sort of um, shaving cream. I usually prefer to, to use like a man's shaving cream. So I figure if they use it on their face, it's probably good enough for me to use on my legs. Um, it was alright. I It's shaving cream. I don't make a big huge deal about shaving cream. This is probably one of my most favorite hair masks. Too bad it's really expensive, but I would totally consider purchasing in the future. And this is the Kerastase Chroma Rich Deep Conditioner. I swear, this is the only conditioner that leaves my hair feeling so like baby soft, like newborn baby soft. It totally takes my hair back. It's really expensive. I got two of these samples, I think like in a birch box or something like that. And I was really saving them for when I felt like my hair was really going to need it. Because it does an amazing job on your hair. I pretty much only use this on my ends. Um, and use like a regular conditioner throughout the rest of my hair. And right before I'm about to take it off for like the last minute or two. I will wet my hair and sort of mix it all together all over my head. Um, and let it sort of work in my hair that way. I love this stuff. I probably got like three or four applications out of this little one. Because again I only use it pretty much on my ends. And my hair is pretty short. I love this. The full size bottle of this I think goes for like 60 probably something I would consider purchasing with a coupon because I think it's really I, I think it's worth it I just I don't know if I can necessarily bring myself to pay $60 for a deep conditioner um, I don't know if they sell this at Ulta but if they do I will probably definitely consider using it 
um, purchasing one of these with my like 20% off Ulta coupons because this stuff is amazing. You have to try this if you can get your hands on it. I have a shampoo and conditioner sample from Fakai. This is their glossing. This is their glossing shampoo and conditioner. I wasn't crazy about it. I had a sample. I wanted to use it and check it out, but I wasn't crazy about it. I have here a sample of the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser, and I liked it so much that I actually purchased a full size. This is a really good cleanser, especially if you have oily skin. Check it out. This is a sample of the Laser Free Resurfacer from Peter Thomas Roth. Um... I don't know if it did anything great for me, but I love this because it says it has Dragon's Blood Complex. <laughs> what? Whatever. But <laughs> I thought it was interesting enough. It's probably a gimmicky thing and it was gimmicky enough to make me want to like really use it and check it out. I don't think it did anything amazing. This was um, an interesting product to use. I liked it, but I, I guess I didn't have enough to really truly figure out, to really truly test it out and, and see whether it's something that I would like to purchase in the future. So as of right now, I wouldn't. I have here a sample of the Murad Pore and Line Minimizing Hydrator. It's a moisturizer that's supposed to help blur your fine lines and wrinkles. I thought it was alright. I didn't. I don't feel like I saw any huge improvements, but I did notice a slight improvement. I don't know if I would go and, and spend the money on the full size, but for what it is, it's alright. This is my NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray, and I pretty much would use this before and after my makeup, especially when I'm using a powder foundation versus a liquid foundation. But even um, in the winter, I would go in with this because I felt like my skin would look a little extra dry even though I'm oily. So I would go in with this because it's supposed to help set it, but it also helps you look a little bit dewy, which I don't necessarily need because I have combination skin. But because I felt that it was also a setting spray, I didn't feel like it made things worse for me. It definitely was better than just wearing my foundation alone. So I like these. I'm currently using the matte one and I think I like that one much better for my skin type because my skin is combination but they're both pretty good products and they're only a few bucks and not expensive so definitely try it out. Next is my Organics Ever Straight Brazilian Carotene Therapy Shampoo and I love the Organics brand. In every empties video of mine you've seen at least one of these containers. Um, I love them. I switch them up. I use the different variations, the different shampoos and different conditioners. I mix it up. I like these a lot. They're pretty amazing. I think they're really good quality drugstore shampoos and conditioners for an affordable price. So who can beat that? So check these out. Um, this was a sample of the Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate from Lancome. Um, it was cool to try. I didn't think anything special of it. Next is my Quarterly Vine Expert Serum. It's a firming serum. I thought this was good. I didn't see enough of a result to really want to go out and purchase it. But maybe I need to purchase the full size to actually see a result. But it was a nice sort of thing to try. I'm, I'm glad I was able to try it. Next is a deep conditioner from Numi. It is a hair mask. I don't know. It doesn't say what kind of hair mask, but I guess it's the one that comes in a black container. I got this probably in an Ipsy bag, and I thought it was a decent product. Um, it was really, it was pretty hydrating. I probably got like three uses out of this because I only use this on my ends. But after using products like Kerastase and some other deep conditioners that I've used in the past, this doesn't even hold a candle to it. It's decent. It's probably like a decent quality. I would say almost drugstore type product. I wouldn't spend a whole lot of money on this. Next is my Claire's Quick Dry Top Coat. It's supposed to be an anti-chip formula. I think it works fairly well. It's not as quick drying as like my Sechevit. Um, and it was $4.50 here in the US. It's okay. I saw it. I was like, oh, let me try. I'm always looking for like a quick drying top coat. Um, and anything that's pretty much half the price of my Sechevit, I'm probably going to give it at least one go around. Um, it was okay. I used it, but I, again, I don't think it was as good as my Sechi V, so I wouldn't necessarily go back and purchase. I have a sample here from Proactive, and it's the Mark Fading Pads. I had a few of these in my last empties video as well. Um, these are sort of good little spot treatments for any spots you might have in your face, but I don't think they did anything miraculous on my skin. I actually found something else that I think works a lot better, so I'm using that at the moment. If, but if you like the Proactive products, then maybe this will work for you. And here's my other um, Quarterly Vine Expert Firming Serum. I like it. Um, you know what? I went to two of these and I didn't see a huge difference. I probably wouldn't purchase in the future. Here is one of my lip balms. I got this in probably an Ipsy bag or something like that. It is a kosher natural vanilla lip balm from Noya. I liked it because it smelled like vanilla. I love the scent of vanilla. And it was pretty good. I liked the fact that it was all natural. This is a sample of the Versace Bright Crystal Perfume. I like this a lot. Um, pretty strong scent. 
I feel like I would like to purchase in the future, but I have so many perfumes, it's kind of like, really yes, but I like it. <laughs> this is a sample of the Corez Yogurt um, Sleeping Facial, I think is what it's called. I like the Corez products, I think they're pretty good products, so if you can go to Sephora and get samples of something that you want to try from the brand, definitely check them out. Next was this sample of the Origins Ginseng, which is supposed to be a refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff. It has some shimmer in it, which is how I guess it will sort of um, brighten your under eye area, but I don't feel like it does a great job. I think that you probably have to have... Um, pretty non-existent under eye circles and like bagginess in order for this to be a miracle product for you but I figured it can't hurt so I used it but I don't know if I would necessarily purchase the full size. Next is this hand cream that I can't even tell you what it was because it's all like squished up like I can't tell you it's a hand cream it looks like this if you ever seen it I thought it was good it was pretty thick and moisturizing so I liked it. Next is this container that I took my scissors to to open so I can get all of the product that was in it. This is from um, Giorgio Armani it is their eye rejuvenating serum I like this I thought it did, it did a really good job for underneath my eyes I would use this and follow it up with the moisturizer day and night um, and I thought it did a really great job, especially before I would apply any makeup and concealer underneath my eyes. It, to prevent, it helps to prevent creasing. In the morning, I didn't feel like my eyes were dehydrated when I used it at night. So really good, really expensive, I believe. I got one of those like kits that you can get with like a, like a makeup bag. And it, had, it has the daytime and a nighttime moisturizer, two eye products, and a serum. It was nice to try, and it felt really luxurious. I actually um, liked the entire line. I burned myself with a... Um, ceramic brush as I was blowing out my hair and I burned myself at the back of my neck and it looked pretty bad on day like two or three but I kept using like the daytime moisturizer during the day I would bring it down to my neck at night the nighttime moisturizer the serum and it really helped to fade the spot like my husband noticed it one day and was like you can barely even see it anymore like the sort of like the scab part was starting to fall off and it didn't even look that nasty but it wasn't that bad and now it looks pretty good. So you know what? Those fancy, expensive products sometimes really do work. This next item is from Murad as well. And it is their Intensive Wrinkle Reducer. I liked it. Um, did I feel like it was intensive and amazing and all that? No. But it was cool to try an under eye product. Because I'm at the age where I really need to use pretty decent under eye cream. Not just something that's going to moisturize. I really need to focus on finding like my holy grail under eye product. So I was really excited that I got to try this out. I just don't think this is my holy grail product. Another perfume sample. This is the Burberry Body Tender Perfume. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a really great perfume. Um, I feel like it's a classic like Burberry scent. I I would use it again. Um, I like to get a sample and check it out. And my last and final item for these past two months is my Peck, I think it's called Pequi, Pequi Oil Treatment, which is supposed to restore softness and shine. This is from Couture Color. I got this, I think, in like a birch box or an Ipsy bag, something like that. Um, I like this a lot because it was almost kind of like a dry oil. It was never too heavy in my hair. It, it never felt really heavy in my hair. I would use this really small amount, rub it in between my hands, and apply it to my hair. Um, and when my hair is curly, my ends tend to look a little dry because curly hair is naturally dry hair. Um, but it, it just made it look naturally healthy without sort of weighing it down and making it look really oily. It quickly absorbed into my hair and just made it look nice. Um, even when I flat iron my hair, I don't necessarily want to weigh it down just because it's flat ironed. I don't, I don't want it to look like it's weighed down. I just want it to look straight. And this made my hair look really sort of healthy, not overly shiny, but it made it look good and healthy, which is a, which is exactly what I want from an oil. But I sort of, some of the products I've used in the in the past have really sort of weighed my hair down, and I don't like that look. I don't like the way it feels. My hair feels super dirty very quickly. I don't like any of that. This, though, was a really good product. I would consider purchasing. So that is it, everyone. Those are my products that I've used up in the past two months. Those are my more beauty-related products. I'm going to be doing a video very quickly on my makeup empties or products that I'm getting rid of that I've sort of been really sort of focusing on the last two months and I realized just don't work for me or I've used them up and so it's time to get rid of the containers or I just wasn't crazy about for whatever reason. So I'm going to share those with you very soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below and I'll get back to you. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.